Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate. Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. This is the day and this is the picture perhaps you've been waiting for a long time. Uh, I was lucky to receive this picture uh, and I think I call it an amazing or incredible picture. Uh, it really has uh, an impact on everybody. First of all, I hope that uh, whoever sees this picture uh, would not follow the model that you see in this picture. As you see that uh, two students are sitting beside each other. One is blonde and uh, one is uh, non-blonde, perhaps uh, from Africa or another place. Uh, they are sitting side by side, uh, which tells us uh, one message. Uh, they are uh, cooperating. There is some sort of cooperation between them. Uh, the response is wonderful, uh, but the question is what type of cooperation they have. They are cooperating among themselves to do something bad. Perhaps you have not seen the... Uh, shoes of the student who sits on the right hand. Uh, there is a note uh, and perhaps this is the answer of the question as the picture implies. In other words, they are cheating. This is the essence of it. And here are some of the, the, the uh, responses that uh, we got and the comments that I got. And I love all of them. There are many. Uh, but I like to elaborate on some of them because of the time is so limited. One of them is a person quoted the hadith of the Prophet وسلم, من غشنا فليس منا, uh, which uh, literally means whoever it cheats us is not from us. Whoever cheats us is not from us. If somebody cheats me and cheats you, he is not a person who belongs to us. Who is the word us here? The Prophet ﷺ is referring to the Muslims. And I remember here, uh, Yusuf says this all the time when he said that, I am a Muslim, but... So I am a Muslim, but I cheat. And this contradicts with the word Muslim. In other words, we fall into the contradiction. A lot of people do not link life with the religion. A true Muslim is the one who links the two of them together because unless the word Islam, the word submission to Allah, translates into practice, it's empty. It's meaningless. It's contradiction. It shows hypocrisy. How can a person do this? And at the same time, he would say that, I am a Muslim. This scene, unfortunately, is common in different places. It's common among Muslims, and it's common among non-Muslims. I would not blame the non-Muslims. I would blame the Muslims who have direct command from their Prophet and from Almighty Allah in different places in the Quran that talk about cheating, that talk about the prohibition of doing something bad like this. However, in reality, we still see these examples. This is one of the comments that I got. Another comment was, uh, again, reminding us of the uh, hadith that I always try to mention in front of you, which talks about كل مولود يولد على الفطرة. Every newborn baby is born on fitra, fitra of Islam, fitra of submitting himself or herself to Allah. Blank and good fitra. This is the original nature that we were created. We were not created with a sin. We did not inherit 
the sin from Adam, from 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 Adam because he made it. The Islamic view about this is that we were born sinless. We did not inherit any sin from anyone. Each one of us. Otherwise, God would be unfair. Would be unfair to us if we inherited sin. But we acquired these deeds and acts. We acquired cheating when we see others doing this, whether we see them in reality, in our classrooms, or at home, or in the media, like the, what we see right now. And therefore, my direct advice to the parents and direct advice particularly to the teachers is this is the result of your teaching and your raising the kids. It is direct impact of the school, particularly the peer group on each other. And when I raise this question with people, another comment would say that it's done everywhere. I have just listened to this comment right now. It's done everywhere in the world. I would say, no, this is not true. It's not done everywhere in the world. Some people, yes, who had been raised in similar environment, they think that it is everywhere in the world, but this is not true. And the history of the Prophet ﷺ, the history of the companions, there is a very nice history recorded, and we can read it day and day. And this is the significance when... Of, of, of learning the history of the Prophet ﷺ and giving true examples of this life when we link it with life. When a Muslim knows quite well that Allah is Al-Alim, that Allah is Al-Raqib, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees and listens and hears everything that you are doing. And he has those angels who are recording everything. And we will be responsible for our books of deeds, the records of the deeds that we have done. When this meaning is planted in the hearts of young people, they would definitely be able to resist the temptation of cheating just for a purpose of success. They would know that they want to please Almighty Allah more than they want to please themselves by succeeding and getting good grades. Because a person who cheats today, he will cheat his father tomorrow, he will cheat his wife after tomorrow, he will cheat his government, he will cheat everybody else. This is a matter of trust and this is one of the core values of our great religion is that do not cheat anyone whether he or she is a Muslim or non-Muslim cheating is haram this word should be implanted in the hearts of everyone and we should be aware in Allah كان عليكم رقيبة. Indeed, Allah has always been watching and observing you day and night. You cannot escape from it. If this meaning is embedded and becomes part of our flesh and our brain, I think this sin may disappear soon. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Oh, my God.